Chuck's juicy. I don't know. Lots on there. What's this one doing? I, when I talk to Maya, I get to know about what she's thinking and yeah, she lets me know what her opinions of things are and I learn the things that she likes, the things that she doesn't like and yeah, how she's feeling. Parents have a huge influence on language development for kids and part of the project is to work closer with parents and once we've developed really strong relationships then we can really work together on developing that oral language as early as possible. The, in this first year we've actually spent a lot of time connecting with um, services and schools and I think that in the second year of the project we're really getting to that most important group which is the parents themselves. We see the parents as the most important part of this project so the more we can work with parents and get their feedback the better. It's really reinforced for us that the approach we need to take is very much about going to our key target audience on their terms, in their, in their space and in their places. If you think about how much time, contact time a parent has with their child and that the parent is the child's world, um, they are the first and most important educator. Every interaction that a parent has with their child, it's building a new connection in their brain. And that brain structure is what is needed for learning for the rest of the child's life. The research shows that at age three, the oral language of, of a child is a real, really strong predictor for what, what they'll achieve later in life. And we see that at school, that the kids that are very strong with their language often excel in, in all areas across the curriculum. I think that is one of the most important gifts we can give our children, if we can get them their language development on par and give, it, give them a richness of language and a love of books. It increases their social connectedness, it increases their communication capacity and these are all really important things as we start thinking about um, kindergarten and school. Talking to me means um, building and strengthening relationships and building resilience in children through their social skills and their kind of identity and around language and you can I think that is a foundation for a lot of other areas in their life. Some, some of it is what our parents already do and giving them that encouragement and so singing with their child every day and talking, playing and so oral language is something that we do all the time and, and just giving parents the knowledge around why it's so important. We want to understand what parents are doing and what they think will help them, what sorts of supports they need um, to, to get the most out of um, educating their child. For the following two years, there will be three main focuses for our Linking Learning project. One will be around improving the overall quality of education and care in early childhood education settings. We were doing um, a lot of professional development for the various agencies involved in that. The two major areas though, firstly we'll be looking at transition and ensuring that all of those settings that, can, that are working with children are able to support their transition from birth through to primary school as effectively as possible. And then the third is to undertake a range of initiatives that will really flood and immerse parents, families and local community about how that, what they can do that will actively develop their child's policy literacy development. I think it would be good if those parents could share amongst each other what's working for you, what's challenging, how have you overcome that, and for the parents themselves to be talking about linking learning and what is important for their child's language learning. I'm really looking forward to the next 12 months now. I can't wait to actually see the reaction of parents and the stories that we start hearing back from the community about all of the engagement activity that's about to start and what we start seeing coming through on the various social media platforms that we're just launching. I think that we've taken the time to make sure what we now do will be absolutely the right fit for parents in this community to make sure they give their kids the best start in life.